Now, I know this for sure. Our kids are plugged in, wired up, and looking down at their devices all day. And that means their posture is often bad from a very young age. They've been called the hunch generation. That's not nice, is it? So here to give us advice, personal wellness expert, Lorraine Scapins. Welcome back, Lorraine. And Hi, I see Mel. you've got a guest with you too. Yeah, this is my daughter, Kate. She's nine, and she's going to demonstrate for us a couple of things what we need to look out for now with kids on devices. Awesome. Uh, the first question for me is, like, when should we start looking at it? Because I don't want to sound like one of those you know overbearing mums yeah that's and that and that's it you know ha but unfortunately habits develop at a very early age and basically as soon as they start on the iPads on the phones we really knew, do need to start making changes now so you know sort of three and four year olds just start off really limiting their time you know and watch how they're sitting I don't know if with with toddlers especially we've always changed when they sit on the floor in that W position mm. and we know that affects the hips so changing now how they're sitting when they're using any devices is going to be really good for the future. What is the thing that's contributing the most to the problem is it the way they sit all the devices like you mentioned? It's, it's definitely the way they sit so if we have a look at Kate here generally most of the time kids are slumped in what we call this prawn position very very flexed spine head down forward posture the head is very very heavy so it's going to put a lot of strain on the body it's going to lead to a lot of neck tension and even headaches in kids you know so we need to change that and how we can change it is by getting them not necessarily if you lift up now okay put your chest up okay so that's a very hard position to maintain so we need to get them if they're on the couch if you've got a nice long couch to get them to actually lie down in extension as if they were lying on the bed mm -hmm. and the same that's what we can do when we take them when they're in the bedrooms instead of lying sort of slumped down in this position get them to lie in a horizontal position resting up like that so that's going to keep the spine in a more neutral position and we can do that with bean bags as well mm, it's quite hard yeah. to, to keep it like that it, but you, I mean you mentioned headaches but um, it can well cause bigger problems than that later in life can't it yeah definitely um, you know it's going to lead to back problems fluid build, build up you know the old dowagers hump shortening of the spine lots of compression and aches and pains that they're not going to get get rid of poor core function poor core strength she's playing with her phone <laughs> <laughs> and she's really trying to sit up straight <laughs> oh I love it what about um you know my my grandmother used to say to me sit up straight you look like a hunchback <clears throat> so how can we talk to them without making them self-conscious that that's it you know we've not to be seen as the <laughs> nag so once the kids get older especially you know that sort of pre-teens they're starting to do a lot of homework we've got to take responsibility for the ergonomic setup what we would do ourselves in the office so we need to make sure the chair is set up for them so we're not constantly nagging them using swiss balls and fit balls is really good for teenagers to sit on because it keeps movements so the spines moving all the time and they're not in that fixed one position but yeah to not sound like that nag we have to get them set up so that they're comfortable in those positions and just watch them and just say hey you know I'm sure it'd be much better if you sit like this and mm. just flip them over whether they're on the bean bags or whether they're on the beds as well we just have to make them aware of it and when I was talking to my cousins on the weekend who are teenagers as soon as I mentioned headaches and neck tension they're just agreeing with you you know all the time so there's a lot of teenagers who must be suffering and they're not sort of letting on to their parents mm. well it was a great topic and some fantastic advice so thanks so much for coming in um, Lorraine as always